I want to ask you this question. Have you ever wished that God would just appear to you and, you know, kind of explain everything in your life? I'm sure all of us have had that desire. We're on number 14 out of 117, and Moses wants God to just appear and show him all of his glory. He's kind of thinking, you know, God, if you just show me all your glory, then all my doubts are going to be taken away. My questions are going to be answered. And God says, no, 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 Moses, you're not ready for this. I'm going to hide you in a cleft of a rock, and I'm going to pass by, and you're just going to see a glimpse of my glory. And as God passes by, he declares his name to Moses, Yahweh, Yahweh. But he doesn't just say his name. As he declares his name, he tells Moses who he is. And so let's look at what happens in this little incident right here, okay? So if we go to Exodus 34, verses 6 through 9, Exodus 34, verses 6 through 9, Moses is finally getting his chance. The Lord is going to reveal just a glimpse of his glory to Moses. And if we go to verse 6 in Exodus chapter 34, the Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, but who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of of the fathers upon the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. And Moses made haste to bow his head towards the earth and worship. And he said, If now I have found favor in thy sight, O Lord, let the Lord, I pray thee, go in the midst of us, although it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquities and our sins, and take us for thy inheritance. And so what's so important about this scripture is that as God passes by, Moses is looking for glory. And God is saying, you need forgiveness. And so God talks about how he's merciful and forgiving and he's slow to anger. And a lot of times we want God to just, you know, appear to me, Lord, and just explain everything in my life. And we don't really recognize what we need. We need forgiveness because when there's forgiveness, there is true peace. There's liberty. And, and we are truly capable of serving the Lord when we have forgiveness in our lives. Of course, we have to repent of our sins. We have to believe in the gospel and become disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. But what's so beautiful about this verse here is that even though Moses doesn't recognize initially what he needs, God declares his name, and he, he essentially declares also how merciful he is. May we also focus on that quality of God's mercy as we live our lives and as we share the faith with others.